economic conditions don't get much better for the head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, giving Congress his latest update. Impressive job growth and unemployment so rosy, record numbers of employees are quitting jobs to chase higher wages, leaving employers struggling to fill nearly 11 million openings. Inflation here in the U.S. has surged to its highest level for at least 40 years, partly because the Fed cut its main interest rate to near zero to help drive the pandemic recovery. So Powell is now committed to raising that rate to help tame those surging prices. But Russia's attack on Ukraine complicates things for him. President Joe Biden is imposing severe sanctions upon Russia, one of the world's major energy suppliers, and President Vladimir Putin for what's happening to Ukraine. He has no idea what's coming. U.S. gasoline prices have shot up in the past year, but we're dipping slightly only for global oil prices to surge in anticipation of the West cutting off Russian energy. And Jerome Powell has to factor all this in as he prepares to elevate borrowing costs. I do think it will be appropriate to raise our target range for the federal funds rate at the March meeting in a couple of weeks, and I'm inclined to propose and support a 25 basis point rate hike. And so the question now really is, how the invasion of Ukraine, the ongoing war, the response from nations around the world, including sanctions, may have changed that expectation. Investors are asking the same questions. I think the market's trying to figure out what this all is economically, clearly a slowdown in economics, uh, GDP growth, whether it's the price of oil and what that might do to inflation, whether it's the logistical problems of not being able to get things out of Russia. The Fed is expected to announce its interest rate decision after its next meeting concludes on March the 16th. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.